Be so kind. Before we get into the message, uh, we would like to recognize those who have served and prepared for us. Thank you very much. Also, I have an announcement. Uh, if you remember, if you have not heard, the Passion of the Christ will be shown on Saturday, this Saturday, 3 p.m., 3 to 5 uh, at the First Baptist Church on North Broad Street. And also there is a luncheon to be served afterwards also. So uh, it is uh, just a free will offering. So you're invited to come out uh, to do that. Also, if you haven't seen the Passion of Christ yet, uh, this came out many years ago, it's very worthwhile to see. So <clears throat> with that said, um, we got fed physically and now hopefully I'm going to feed you spiritually uh, so and also too uh, I would like to recognize our Vietnam veterans uh, I know we have several of them here uh, if you're a Vietnam veteran would you raise your hand I uh, thank you today is Vietnam <laughs> veteran war day and uh, I was there uh, I served there, and I served my nation for over six years, and I served it proudly. I served it unshamedly, which leads me into today. Uh, now I serve the servant of the Most High God today. I'm in His army, and it's a battle out there, people, that we are called to fight. The Apostle Paul wrote in Romans 1.16 these words, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God for salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. We should not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. We should be proclaiming it. Before we get into the heart of the matter that I want to get into, which is the cross, I would like you to, to read some words, and if you have a Bible with you, if you would turn to Mark chapter 8. Mark chapter 8, and I want to read verse 38. This is Jesus speaking here. For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with his angels. And also in Luke, Luke addresses this also. Luke chapter 9, verses 26 and 27. For whoever is ashamed of me and my words, of him the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and his Father's and of the holy angels. But I tell you truly, there are some standing here who shall not taste death till they see the kingdom of God. We shouldn't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are to proclaim it. I want to focus on the cross today. In nine days we are going to be celebrating Good Friday. And I got thinking about that, pondering over that. Good Friday. You know, if you ever heard it, why do they call it Good Friday? Did you ever think of that? I pondered on this week. You know, it wasn't good for our Lord Jesus Christ, but it was good for us. Because if he hadn't gone to that cross, where would we be? We'd be still in our dead, in our sins, in our trespasses. I want to start today in Paul's letter to the Galatians. Uh, as those, some of you have heard me preach, I do not try to interpret the scriptures. The scripture does not need interpreted. It will interpret itself if we allow it. So I'm going to get into a lot of scripture today uh, just to get into that. But first in Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. 
For those of you who would like to know, I am reading from the New King James Bible. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Paul's not saying here he literally died on the cross. But that he gave up living for himself. He died to self for the sake of Christ. He gave up living for himself. He died to self for the sake of Christ. He turned his life over to the Savior. What he's basically saying is, you're not just my Savior. You are my Lord. I relinquish control of my life. Look at what Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. And I want to read verses 19. I'm sorry, 1 Corinthians 6, verses 19 and 20. Again, this is Paul writing. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. You understand what Paul's saying here? He's saying that if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, you're not your own. You're not your own. You've been bought with a price. That price was the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I just a song just came out that uh, was written by a young 16-year-old girl. Uh, they travel, her father travels and writes for Keith and uh, Kirsten Getty, uh, if you're not familiar with them. Uh, but she just wrote a song, and that's what it's called. I am not my own. I am not my own. Sadly, there are many that believe that they can just continue going on just the way that they lived before. Not considering the price that Jesus paid on that ugly, cruel cross. You can't live your life the way that you want to. Hear what Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5.15. 2 Corinthians 5.15. For me, for, I'm sorry. And he died for all, that those who live should live no longer, listen to this, for themselves. Can no longer live for themselves but for him who died for them and rose again. I like what uh, Dr. Tony Evans says. He says, too many people, they want five pounds of God and a 50 pound bag. <laughs> That's what it's about, people. That's what they want. They want just enough to hopefully they'll get into heaven. Paul has also instructed us in several of his writings that we are to put on the new man, put off the old. We are to clothe, be clothed in Jesus Christ's righteousness. <clears throat> Have you truly done what Christ has called us to do in three of his gospel writings? Matthew 16, verse 24. <clears throat> Matthew 16. 24. I'm in Mark. I better get Matthew here. Matthew 16, 24. <clears throat> then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. This is what Paul did. This is what Paul was speaking about. 
We have to deny ourselves, give up ourselves to Christ. And take up his cross and follow me. Then in Mark chapter 8, verse 38, this is what Mark says. For whoever, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mark 8, 34. Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And finally in Luke, chapter 9 and verse 23. Luke, Dr. Luke is writing the same thing here, but he goes one step further. Listen to what he says. Luke 9, 23. Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. Listen, people, this isn't a one and done thing that we do once a week, an hour out of a week, or two hours out of a week. It's something we have to do daily. We have to take up our cross daily, on a daily basis. I want to listen to the writing, the warning in Hebrews. The writer of Hebrew writes in Hebrews chapter 6. And verses 4 through 6. The writer here is talking about Christians. Those who have made a profession of faith. For it is impossible for those who are once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and have become partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come. If they fall away, this is the warning here, people. If they fall away to renew them again, to repentance since they crucify again for themselves the Son of God and put Him to an open shame. I implore you if you're not truly, truly walking as Christ has given us the example be reconciled to God today. And if you have never taken that first step do not delay today if you watch the news the internet the TV you can see there's many things there's much unrest violence going on in around the world I think of the three young elementary school children that were shot needlessly along with the three adults our world is becoming worse and worse. But God has given us the warning. It's going to happen before he returns. Second Peter 3.18 But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and forever. Amen. 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 I would like to read the words of a song, a hymn that was written by a homegrown Pennsylvanian, Philip Bliss, whose homestead is out down in the Du Bois area, just this side of Du Bois. But I want to, the title of it is Almost Persuaded. Listen to the words that he has to say here. Almost persuaded now to believe. Almost persuaded Christ to receive. Seems now some soul to say, go spirit, go thy way. Some more convenient day on thee I'll call. Almost persuaded, come, come today. 
Jesus invites you here. Angels are lingering near. Prayers rise from hearts so dear. O wanderer, come. Almost persuaded, harvest is past. Almost persuaded, dew comes at last. Almost cannot avail. Almost is but to fail. Sad, sad, that bitter wail. Almost, but lost. I want to encourage you today. If you don't know the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, please talk to someone here today. The pastors are here. There are also other individuals. If you stray from him, it's time to come back home. Let's pray. Father God, none of us know the hearts of anyone here. Father, I do pray for each one here, Lord. And Father, I pray if there's anyone here that is strayed from you and making a profession, professing you is not just their Savior, but you have to be our Lord also. We have to give up ourselves. Turn things over to you. Let you direct our paths. Lord, you tell us that there's a broad and a narrow gate. Father, I pray for each one here, Lord. I pray that you will bless them. I thank you, Father, for uh, these luncheons. I thank you for the messages we have heard over the past five weeks. And I pray, Father, that the seeds have been planted here by other pastors, myself, that they would take seed, take root. So, Lord, I just thank you and praise you for who you are. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Good job, preacher. Thank you, Pastor Bennett. We have some extra containers that we saved over the last couple